Moving on now and safer bicycle helmets could soon hit the shelves. NTU researchers and materials firm Arkema have developed a prototype which is said to potentially halve critical and fatal injury rates in accidents. The development comes amid a spike in bicycle accidents as more people take up the sport during the pandemic. Our researchers tested these helmets by driving them down at high speeds on three different surfaces to simulate different road conditions. They found that it was able to absorb more impact energy while dissipating it evenly throughout the helmet. This reduced the overall impact to the head. Well, for more, we're joined now by Dr. Soman Budolia Kumar. He's research fellow from the NTU School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Doctor, tell us more about this new material that was used for the outer shell of the helmet. It's called acrylic thermoplastic resin, uh, along with a type of carbon fiber. How did the team discover it? Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for having me here. Uh, and it is really great uh, to represent the university, uh, to represent our school and to share a little bit regarding our uh, development on the thermoplastic composite cells. Uh, regarding this uh, acrylic thermoplastic resin, uh, this is uh, developed by Arkema. Arkema is a, a well-known French specialty material firm, and uh, they have developed it as, uh, as a trade name, Ilium. And uh, this has a potential to disrupt the existing resin technologies, uh, which, are wide, which has a huge potential to be used in uh, different kind of uh, industrial applications. Uh, potentially, what we have been working with Arkema uh, it is started, our collaboration had started way back in 2011. And uh, around 2013 or so, we have came to know much about this resin system. That was the period basically when I started my PhD to work on uh, this uh, resin system. And uh, at the start, we just wanted to know much about the resin system, how this resin system performs in terms of the mechanical properties. And then later around 2016 or so, we have uh, tried to understood more about this material system by making more prototypes using this kind of resin systems. And uh, composite, if we will see composite, so typically, you tests, know, uh, uh, cons yeah. Yes. Yeah, sorry, Dr. Yes, Kumar, just uh, cut in with yeah. you there. During tests, what happened to your helmets uh, versus yeah. uh, conventional ones then? Uh, just to give a little perspective on basically what uh, helmets are all about. Helmets consist of typically the outer cell uh, and the inner foam. Inner foam, if we will try to uh, understand, is like they are basically made up of the uh, expanded polyesterine. Uh, they are typically just like a packaging forms and uh, what we use for the takeaway boxes, uh, of course, of different densities. Uh, but also there are the outer cell, which are typically made of plastic, uh, which are uh, very uh, lightweight. And also they are uh, ductile, very ductile in nature. Uh, but what we have developed are uh, thermoplastic composite cells, uh, which are relatively stiffer and tougher. So, Professor, based on the results and, uh, that you've had, can the yeah. same material be applied to other types of helmets? Uh, yes, actually, it's a good question. Good question, indeed. Uh, this kind of uh, helmet technology or the basically the material technology can be easily adopted for a different kind of uh, helmet types because there is no constraints on the thicknesses or the shapes uh, which can be required to test this kind of uh, uh, or to manufacture this kind of composite helmets. It is pretty easy to mold into the desired shapes, desired sizes. We are already exploring it in different kind of applications like uh, uh, even the personal mobility devices which are very popular in Singapore or even for the military application for the uh, for the crash applications as well as like the uh, ballistic applications, the helmets where we will be using in conjunction with different kind of reinforcement, not carbon, maybe like uh, more tougher uh, hybrid fiber reinforcements. Some exciting future potential uh, applications there. Dr. Kuma, thank you very much. We've been speaking to Dr. Soman Budolia Kuma, research fellow from the NTU School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering.